I'm going to lead us, this wonderful group of people here, uh, in a ver variety of EFT tapping uh, structures or uh, tapping routines, and I'm going to teach you EFT in literally five minutes. Okay, EFT is an incredibly easy technique to learn, and like I said, you'll, you'll be doing it within five minutes. But before we get started, why don't we just all go around the room and introduce ourselves by first name only. Hi, I'm Joy. Hi. Hi, I'm Mike. Dan. Lorraine. Charlotte. Kim. Elizabeth. Karen. Deirdre. Okay, and we're going to start off, again, I'm going to teach you EFT in literally five minutes. Uh, EFT is a, uh, an evolution of a long succession of energy healing traditions, uh, going back 5,000 years at least, okay, originating, of course, in Tibet and China, Southeast Asia, and sort of made its way and evolved over to this country in the 80s and 90s, okay, and in its current manifestation, it's known as Emotional Freedom Techniques, or EFT. However, there's a whole alphabet soup of similar meridian-based therapy uh, techniques and modalities. Uh, I like to say we're kind of kissing cousins of Reiki, reflexology, shiatsu, acupressure, and acupuncture. Uh, a lot of my colleagues say that I practice noisy Reiki, uh, and I, I guess it is kind of noisy because we tap, but it's pretty much the same kind of healing energy, especially when we work as a group. There's this kind of synergistic quantum healing effect that gets magnified as, as people are healing together. And we often call that borrowing benefits. <coughs> a lot of Reiki people also experience that when Reiki people do a group healing as well. Uh, it's pretty much the same energy and same kind of modality, okay? All right, so we're gonna teach, I'm gonna teach you EFT in about five minutes, okay? It's ridiculously easy, it's the shortcut method, okay? There are other points, I'm not gonna teach you 3,000 points, Okay, I am going to teach you 10 points. And in 99.9% .9 of anything that can go wrong in your life, those 10 points will fix it. Okay? So you don't need to spend three years studying acupuncture. All right? All right, we're going to learn it in five minutes. First, and I, again, this is kind of like Simon says, so you just, guys just imitate what I do. Okay? Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything ridiculous, but we're going to do some stuff. Okay? All right, first tapping point is often called the top of the head or the crown chakra. And you take you know, the fingers of any hand, left, right, whatever, and you just tap lightly in a circular motion around the top of the head, okay? And again, it doesn't matter whether it's the left hand, the right hand, both hands, but I would suggest that you tap lightly. I don't want you guys to hurt yourselves, okay? I don't want anybody bruising themselves, all right? And again, in a circular motion, kind of the area where you'd wear a baseball hat or a yarmulke or a beanie, okay? That's called top of the head. I have to take my glasses off. Okay. Next point is called the eyebrow point, and that's the area where the eyebrow meets the bridge of the nose, okay? And if you tap with three or four fingers in that general area, you don't have to be acupuncture needle perfect. You're going to get the spot anyway, okay? And again, left hand, right hand, both hands, it doesn't matter. There's no wrong way to do this. Often my, my students ask me, well, why are you changing hands? Because I get tired. So, you know, uh, and so I just, the only reason I switch hands is when I get tired. I go left, right, both hands, it doesn't matter. The energy system or the meridian system is bilateral. So, you know, again, it doesn't matter which hand you, you use, okay? So that's called the eyebrow point. Next point is called the side of the eye. It's the outside corner of the eye, right on the edge of the eye socket, tapping lightly. I don't want you to bruise yourselves, okay? And now, what you, again, left hand right hand, both hands, it doesn't matter. Next point is called under the eye, and it's the uh, right on the cheekbone, right on the edge of the cheekbone, directly underneath the pupil. You guys are doing great. I'm sure you've done this before. It looks like it. Okay, <laughs> and again, just left hand, right hand, it doesn't matter. There's no wrong way to do this, okay? Next point is called under the nose, okay, and it's the uh, little notch there or cleft on the upper lip, where the upper lip meets the, uh, the, the bottom of the nose, okay? And again, left hand, right hand, it doesn't matter. Next point is called the chin spot, or under the, uh, under the mouth, which is where the lower lip meets the, the chin. Again, that little cleft, or whatever they call it, a little notch there, okay? A dimple, whatever it is, okay? And again, left hand, right hand, no wrong way to do this. Next point is called the collarbone, okay? And again, 
Uh, you can go left to right. You can go right to left. Okay? You can start in the center and go outward. You can start at the edges and go inward. There's no wrong way to do it, okay? Uh, whatever works for you. You can use your fist, and then you can use your hands, the palm of your hand. It doesn't matter, okay? Whatever is comfortable for you, all right? Next point is kind of interesting uh, because it really demonstrates what we call in EFT land the discovery statement, and it's the basic principle behind most energy healing and Asian healing, okay? And we're going to go tap on the point we call under the arm. A lot of the ladies call this the bra strap point, okay? Uh, and basically you take one hand, and just for argument's sake, we're going to take our left hand, place it underneath our arm, in our armpit, go down about five or six fingers from the armpit on the side of the rib cage, okay? Mm -hmm. And you'll notice that one of the ribs you're feeling around is going to be more sensitive or tender or even painful. You guys found it? Mm -hmm. Okay. The reason it is sensitive, tender, or painful is because that is where there is trapped, blocked, or negative or reversed energy. Okay, and this is the basic understanding behind Asian healing, mm -hmm. is that the root cause of all problems, okay, whether they be physical or emotional or spiritual, is trapped, blocked, or reversed mm -hmm. negative energy. Mm -hmm. And the purpose behind reflexology, acupuncture, acupressure, shiatsu, and of course EFT, is by tapping on these acupuncture points or EFT points, we affect healing. We release the trap or blocked negative energy, okay? And the root cause of all illness or emotional problems in, our, in the EFT belief system, okay, that's our discovery statement, that the root cause of all our problems is a blockage or a reversal of our energy system or damage to the energy system if there's a real chronic problem, okay? So basically, that's the EFT statement. And that's why it's kind of interesting to tap under the arm because you're actually yeah. feeling it, okay? All right, next point is called the karate chop. And if you've ever seen those B movies where the guy goes chop, you know, he breaks a two by four, crushes a brick, okay? It's from the base of the pinky to the, the heel of the palm and that fleshy area. And there you go. And again, it doesn't matter whether you do the left hand, the right hand, both hands, it doesn't matter. Okay, whatever works for you. Now I'm going to, the final point is called the sore spot or the tender spot. And this again demonstrates the discovery statement or the principle behind EFT. And what I want you to do is go uh, in the fleshy muscular area above your heart, okay, below your collarbone, Okay, and if you feel around, you're going to find an area, sometimes I'd say left of center, okay, uh, that's either sensitive, tender, or even Ooh. painful. Yeah, you got it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, right, there we go. <laughs> All right, and again, it's also the same over on the right-hand side, too. Mm -hmm. if you, once you found it on the left side, you can find it on the right side. And again, that's trapped, reversed, blocked, negative energy. When you go to the acupuncturist, and he writes his little prescription. Usually they say, oh, you have bad chi. You have trapped chi, stagnant chi. Okay? Reverse chi. That's what he's talking about. Okay? Uh, chi means energy. And they're talking about that the energy has been blocked or reversed or is negative or has been damaged. Okay? And so they're applying needles. We, of course, are just going to be tapping on these points. We're only going to be tapping on 10 points. Okay, and now I've just, like I said, I have just taught you EFT in about five minutes. All right, this is all you need to know for about 99% of anything that's ever going to go wrong with you. Okay, now I'm now going to teach you a few EFT basic maintenance taps that if you do on a daily basis, are going to keep you in a nice, happy kind of state. This is not deep therapy. This is what I call house cleaning or maintenance. This is like doing the donuts, you know, or clean, washing the dishes or doing the garbage. This is maintenance, okay? This is daily EFT maintenance. The first exercise that I always teach and we use as our warm-up in our sessions, in our group sessions, is what we call the gratitude tap. Now, I learned this from my teachers, Brad Yates and Carol Look, many, many years ago. 
And I remember when they taught this to me, I said, this is too easy. This is too simple. I have complicated problems. I want something complicated. This is too lame. And of course, they both laughed and they said, well, if you don't do it, it's not going to work. All right, what we do, okay, and again, it's really simple, it's really easy, okay, and what it is, is we make a list of 10 things that we are grateful for and that we're happy about and that we're, we feel positive about and that we love having in our life. Now, that can be a person, that can be an aspect of our lives, an aspect of our personality, one of our skills, one of our talents, okay? And what we do is we make a list and then we tap on it in a very, very, very simple way. And what we do, okay, is we, we start tapping the top of the head, okay, everybody? Okay, and now what we're going to do is I'm going to ask uh, Deirdre over here to share with me one thing that she's grateful for. Uh, my husband. Okay, very good, excellent. And now you just visualize that thing that you're grateful for. And now we're going to say two words, two tiny little words that some people can never say, but we, of course, here can say very easily, of course, because we're tappers, uh, is thank you. So guys, repeat after me. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Excellent. Now we're going to tap on the eyebrow point. Now say thank you. Thank you. Very good. Side of the eye. Thank you. Thank you. Under the eye. Thank you. Thank you. Under the nose. Thank you. Under the mouth. Thank you. Come on. Let's go. Collarbone. Thank you. Under the arm. Thank you. Karate chop. Thank you. We're going to do it one more time. Top of the head, thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the eye, thank you. thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. Collarbone, thank you. thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. thank you. Very good. Now take a deep breath. And now release. Awesome. Very cool. Okay. And <laughs> Your name, please get Corinne. Corinne, uh, what would you, something you're grateful for, please? Uh, plants. Plants, very plants. beautiful. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to tap on top of our heads. Thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. Thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the nose, under the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. Collarbone, thank, thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Top of the head, thank you. thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. Thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the nose, thank you. thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. Collarbone, thank you. thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. thank you. Very good. Now take a deep breath. And now release. Very cool. Excellent. Okay, and your name please? Elizabeth. Elizabeth, something you're grateful for. Uh, very good. Top of the head. Thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow. Thank you. thank you. Side of the eye. Thank you. Thank you. Under the eye. Thank you. thank you. Under the nose. Thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth. Thank you. Thank you. Collarbone. Thank you. thank you. Under the arm. Thank you. Thank you. Karate chop. Thank you. thank you. Top of the head. Thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow. Thank you. thank you. Side of the eye. Thank you. Thank you. Under the eye. Thank you. Thank you. Under the nose. Thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Collarbone, thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Okay, take a deep breath. And now release. Very good. Excellent. Okay, Kim? Hi, um, I'm thankful for all the support that I've from Awesome, very good. Let's go top of the head, thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. thank you. Collarbone, thank you. thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. thank you. Top of the head, thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the eye, thank you. thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. Collarbone, thank you. thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. thank you. Very good. Take a deep breath. And now release. Okay, well, I'm going to share that I'm grateful that you guys have all given me the opportunity to practice what I love to do most, which is practice EFT and be useful and helpful to others. So, thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. Thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. Collarbone, thank you. thank you. 
Under the arm. Thank you. Karate chop. Thank you. Top of the head. Thank you. Eyebrow. Thank you. Side of the eye. Thank you. Under the eye. Thank you. Under the nose. Thank you. Under the mouth. Thank you. Collarbone. Thank you. Under the arm. Thank you. Karate chop. Thank you. Very good. Take a deep breath. And now release. Very cool. Excellent. Uh, Charlotte? I'm grateful for my service dog. Ah, uh, yes. What a beautiful doggy you are. Uh, okay. Nothing. What is it? Never, never act, never act against uh, with chil uh, children and pets, right? You know, that, that's the actor's uh, slogan, right? Yeah. Uh, top of the head, thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the nose, thank you. thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. Collar, go, thank you. thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. thank you. Top of the head, thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Collarbone, thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Very good. Take a deep breath. And now release. Okay, very good. Have you guys noticed something? You notice feeling a little a bit of a rush or high, a little bit of a buzz, or a little yeah. tingle, yes. right? Yes. Okay, I didn't slip you a Mickey, I promise. That is EFT kicking in. That is your energy system starting to rebalance. So if you're feeling sleepy or you're yawning or you're feeling like you had a body rush or you're a little stoned or a buzz or you're <laughs> floating, okay, that's a good thing, okay? <laughs> All righty. Uh, go ahead. Lorraine. Lorraine, uh, so what's your grateful for? I'm grateful for all the work I've been able to do on people who needed it. Beautiful. Okay. Top of the head. Thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow. Thank you. Thank you. Side of the eye. Thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Collarbone, thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Top of the head, thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Collarbone, thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Very cool. Take a deep breath. And now release. Okay, very good. All right. Uh, Dan, tell me you're grateful for. I'm um, grateful for all the talents I've been able to develop over the years. Awesome. Very cool. Top of the head, thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the nose, thank you. thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. Collarbone, thank you. thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Okay, top of the head, thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Collarbone, thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Take a deep breath. And now release. Okay, and Mike, what's something you're grateful for? Uh, presently, a healthy family. Awesome, very cool. Top of the head, thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the eye, thank you. thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. Collarbone, thank you. thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. thank you. Top of the head, thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the eye, thank you. thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Collarbone, thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Okay, very good. Take a deep breath. And now release. Very cool. Awesome. And Joy. Joy, something you're grateful for. Uh, for working with integrated energy therapy. Awesome. Very cool. Top of the head, thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Collarbone, thank you. thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. thank you. Top of the head, thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the eye, thank you. thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. Collarbone, thank you. thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. thank you. Awesome. Take a deep breath. And now release. Very cool. Okay. 
So, that is the gratitude tap, okay? And basically, if you do it yourself, because we've been t in teaching mode or group mode, so it's taken a little longer, it takes less than three minutes. Okay, now here's what it does. Besides make you feel better, and it's starting the EFT process or starting to rebalance your, your energy system, it also activates law of attraction. You guys have ever heard of the secret or law yeah. of attraction? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, you've seen the movie, etc. And basically, law of attraction. If you go around saying "boo hoo, boo hoo, life sucks," I want to go home. You know, <laughs> uh, you're going to get more of that. Okay. If you say, you know, life is what it is, but I've got this and I've got that, and I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for that, you're going to attract more of the same. And that's the basic principle behind law of attraction. Now, here's some very practical ways to do this, okay? Besides a general gratitude list, okay, uh, if you're a practitioner, okay, or a business person, or a teacher, and you have customers, or clients, or students, make a list of your clients, or your students, or your customers, and do the gratitude tap on them. This is cash money in the bank. If you don't do it, it's costing you money. All right? I have dozens of stories of students and clients who do the gratitude tap on their customers, on their clients, and they keep getting new customers. That's all I can say to you. So this is real, absolute, practical, pragmatic, you know, uh, this, is a, this is not woo-woo. This is seriously practical stuff, okay? Now, if you're in a relationship and you want to spice it up a little bit, Make a list of the aspects of your partner that you're grateful for. And make a list, or have the partner make a list of the things they're grateful for about you. And then you tap with them back and forth. Okay? Very practical. It works. It definitely kind of gets the old love boat cruising again. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, it really works. And again, my clients, I, I've got stories, trust me who've come in saying, oh, we want a divorce, it's over, you know, uh, I don't want to see him again, I don't want to see her again, uh, and then about 15 minutes later they say, can we go home now, you know, tonight's your lucky night, you know. This really works, okay? So it's, like I said, it's really simple and almost, like I said, it's too simple, it's too easy, you do it every day, it takes less than three minutes, and there's a lot of benefits to it, okay? Okay, so thank you very much for you guys for helping me uh, present this. Everybody out there, come on, let's all say hi to everybody out on the internet. Hello! <laughs> hi! And I also want to say thank you to Gary Craig, uh, Roger Callahan, Brad Yates, Carol Lutz, Pat Carrington, and a whole host of other people who made EFT what it is today. Thank you very much. I love you all. Bye! Come on, guys. Let's say goodbye to everybody.